home repair, home despair continues. I think if you're looking at a major repair and you're looking at a $300 repair or something like that, yeah, I, I would seriously consider having a second person come out, get a second opinion. And ask a lot of questions. And ask a lot of questions. And let them know that you're interested and that you're watching. Don Vandervoort has been interested in and watching repairmen and contractors for the past 20 years. You know, you don't get an owner's manual when you buy a house, right? Which may make him the next best thing. And do I have to worry about trap moisture? He's written dozens of how-to books. His latest, How Not To Get Scammed. Ask the expert. Yeah. That's you. That's me. <laughs> and the expert says, uh, that, do your homework. Up, uh, you can't just turn it over to somebody else. You need to know more about what you're I, doing than you think? I think that you need to know more about it if you want to if you want to protect yourself. Like how your heater works, for instance. It's, it's kind of the mysterious part of the house. But mysterious is not what your repairman should be. You want to know how long they've been in business, whether they have uh, some kind of reputation in the community, maybe. And get more than one estimate, even if it costs you. Pay another $25, maybe, to get another point of view to make sure that that work really does need to be done, if, if we're talking about a substantial amount of work. And a reputable repairman doesn't mind if you're yeah. looking over his shoulder yeah. as long as you're not getting in the way. That's right. Kind of let them know that you're an astute consumer, that you're tuned into what they're doing, and uh, that you expect to get your money's worth. When 48 Hours continue.